Okay, uh, thanks everybody for coming. Uh, my name is uh, Detective Inspector Mark McKechn from the Major Crime Investigation Branch in SAPOL. Uh, we're at this address at Cuddler and we're here as a result of some information received uh, last night that uh, there may well be a body on the premises here at uh, the address. As a result of that, Major Crime Investigators along with Barossa CIB attended here and, and uh, spoke to the occupants and conducted a search at the address. Uh, we located a uh, quantity of cannabis plants, a commercial quantity, and also a 22 firearm hidden at the address along with a, uh, a magazine of ammunition. As a result of those inquiries, we've arrested a 45-year-old male. Uh, we've refused bail in relation to that person and he'll probably appear in the Elizabeth Magistrates Court later on today, charged with serious firearms and, and uh, drug cultivation offences. The investigation in relation to the uh, body being on the premises uh, remains ongoing. We're currently conducting some searches here at the address and we will be doing so for some time, we suspect, possibly overnight. Um, so in relation to who the person is we're looking for, um, we're open to who that person may be. Yes, there is a missing person from the northern suburbs who went missing in the Cuddler area and obviously he is one of the people that we will be bearing in mind but we're certainly uh, keeping our options open as to who the person is and whether the information is in fact correct. So I'm happy to take any questions. Is the person that was arrested the resident of this property? Uh, look, I, I won't go on any, um, won't have any comments in relation to who the person is other than it's a 45 year old male. And the tip-off that came to police, was that as a result of Crime Stoppers or...? No, that was some other information we received, it wasn't by Crime Stoppers. Can you elaborate on that information? No, I won't make any comments in relation to the source of that information at this, at this stage. So when you talk about um, the 38-year-old missing man from the northern suburbs, you're not confident of your keeping an open mind that it yeah. could be someone else? Yeah, we are, and we're, we're keeping an open mind in relation to the accuracy of the information as well. Um, but given the area and there is a missing person, he's obviously one of the people that we're bearing in mind as to who it could be if in fact it is true. Are these people at all linked to the missing man? Uh, we don't know of any links other than the general area at this stage. But as, as um, we've sort of mentioned, it's very early in the investigation, but we don't know of any obvious links. Um, have police been searching this area in relation to that missing person throughout the week? Yes, there have been searches conducted in regard to that, independent of what's happened here, yes. Uh, are you focusing on a certain area in this property? It uh, looks like you're at the back. Yeah, look, we'll focus on the entire property. We've started out the back and then we'll, um, depending on what we'll find, we'll look throughout the rest of the property as well, and um, even adjoining properties. In relation to why police came here um, throughout the week searching for that missing person, what brought you here? Um, you mentioned it wasn't this property that brought you here initially, yeah. so what was it that led you to search in, that, in this area for that person? It was some information that we received from the public last night, yes. But sorry, the, the information that brought you to search for that missing person, the 38 year old, throughout the week? Yes. What brought you here? Oh, the, but the basic reason why we're searching Cuddler is that was a, probably the last one of the last sightings of where we were seen, was Cuddler, and so we've um, focused our search around this area, at least in the early stages. Are those close to him, they're all being cooperative in terms of the, the search for him? Yes, they have been, yes. How long did the search last if he's not Uh Look, we're going to be open minded with that. We'll obviously work tonight and turn as late as we can and then reassess tomorrow and uh, hopefully we can come up with some resolution in the next day or so. Do police expect in relation to this search that charges could be laid against other people? Uh, look, it's too early in the investigation to say. We don't know yet. But in relation to the charges where you've um, charged a 45 year old man, yes. are you looking for other people that might not be at the property but might have been involved in whatever oh, was happening here in yeah. terms of the drugs? And yeah, the look, it's just it's way too early for us to speculate in relation to that. Firstly, we need to establish as a crime maker with respect to the homicide here, and that's what we're trying to do, and then we'll uh, uh, take, take the investigation there, uh, see where it goes from there. Okay. All okay. There's no suggestion that that firearm had been used recently. Look, we we haven't forensically analysed that firearm. We don't know. Uh, that's that would obviously form part of the investigation going forward. How big is the property? Oh, look, I, 
I don't actually know, it's, a, it's an acreage. Um, there's adjoining properties, so we're still trying to establish exactly how big the property itself is. Um, but yeah, look, it's, 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 I'd say a number of acres. And in terms of the structures that are on the property, it's the house, that shed, is there any other? No, they seem to be the main structures that are here, that are on the immediate property at any rate. And what's the focus of police's search? Obviously the whole property, but there was mention that there could be a body of water that's being searched. Can you go into that? Uh, look, I won't go into any further detail in relation to that. Um, uh, like I said, the searches have only just commenced, so we won't speculate on what exactly we're searching at this point in time, but we'll provide some further information later on. When, when what? Uh, look, probably not tonight. Yeah, I think probably once we're coming to an end of our search period, we'll be able to provide some more information, specifics about that sort of thing. I'm sorry, I think you might mention this, but how long should the search be before? Look, we don't know. We're here as long as it takes to resolve uh, the information that we've been given. So whether that's tomorrow or tonight, we don't know. All good, everybody? Good? All right, great. Thank Thanks, guys. Thank